The Nitty Gritty Dirt Band finally made their stop in Bemidji tonight, and fans will tell you the show was definitely the American dream. Reporter Sherelle Moore takes us into the show. It was a packed house in the Bemidji High School Auditorium as the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band took center stage. We're really happy to be in Bemidji. Again, coming back to Bemidji, it's a beautiful town, and being here this time of year is, is awesome. Got to walk around the lake a little bit today, very cool. Yeah, we had our dose of wild rice, we're good. Mm -hmm. The band has been together for 52 years, and tonight, fans got a special treat with a few new members added to the lineup. This summer, we're having a great time. We got a couple new guys in the band, my son Jamie, Hannah, and uh, a buddy of ours, Ross Holmes, who's a great mm -hmm. fiddler. Mm -hmm. And mandolin player, and we're, uh, that's opened up some real great opportunity, opportunities for us musically. Musically, yeah, yeah. It's just a modern day romance, a new kind of game. There are more than a few pairs of cowboy boots in the crowd. Fans say they were just excited to hear some of their favorite songs played live. It's a, it's a band we've uh, listened to for a long time, loved their music, great sound. They were actually, I think, a little ahead of their time. But uh, they endure, and that's the name of the game in this business. As a family, listening to the older country music, Mr. Bojangles, you know, An American Dream, um, Fishing in the Dark, but it was just a staple in our household was was country music so I'm excited to see him again and I want to share that with my daughter Katie if they say and tonight's show also doubled as a fundraiser for Lakeland PBS which the band says they were more than happy to help out with. We love PBS, I just want to tell you that. Uh, we were really excited when they picked up our special Circle and Back live from the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville that we did a little while back. And uh, it's been a great opportunity for us to, you know, sort of give back to PBS. Reporting of Bemidji, Sean Moore, Lakeland News. That concert at Bemidji High School tonight, the next Lakeland PBS concert will be Celtic Thunder in October. We have ticket information on our website at lptv.org. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.